hey guys welcome back to my channel for another video another video guys if you're new welcome if you're old welcome back goody so guys in today's video i'm gonna show you guys how i made this ayurvedic hair growth oil and i'm using it for an hot oil treatment today and this is made from brahmi brahmi and hibiscus powder in this oil you only need three ingredients guys and probably you're going to need uh, optional ingredients if you choose to use it and the first ingredient is the hibiscus powder okay so the second ingredient that I'm using today will be the brahmi powder and I'll be getting into detail with these powder all these ingredients benefits etc the third ingredient is the grapeseed oil and the optional ingredient would be your garlic. I add garlic to it because garlic is absolutely amazing for hair growth and help to treat your scalp as well from dandruff. It just adds everything beneficial with all the other ingredients. So that's an optional ingredient. If you want to, you don't if you don't want to, you don't have to add garlic to it is just my preference preferred pride um, choice to add it okay so guys let's get into making this oil first I'm going to go ahead and take a tablespoon of my hibiscus powder and guys you can make I'm just making only for one wash day so if you want to make some and put it down then it's optional for you you can add more you can add less so whatever your choice is just is on you and your household and i'm gonna also add one tablespoon of brahmi powder Then I'm gonna go ahead and add my carrier oil, which is the grapeseed oil. And I'm gonna explain to you guys why I chose to use grapeseed oil instead of coconut oil, because a lot of people like to use coconut oil as their carrier oil. And um, I decided to use grapeseed oil today. So guys, when I'm mixing this out, or when if you're going to try this recipe when you're mixing it out you have to be make sure that all the powder is completely mixed out so sometimes you can find some lumps in it so make sure that you go through it thoroughly and try to get all that out of it So guys after doing after mixing the oil what I normally do I put it aside for like three four hours or you can set it aside overnight it's on depends on you so after three hours I decide to add some essential oil to it because guys the garlic was popping this oil smells like seasoned meat like you season meat overnight that's how it smells you don't want to go you don't if you don't for me i didn't want to smell like that so i decided that i'm going to add some essential oils to this and i got this essential oils um off amazon i will leave it down below if you guys want to try it out um it's basically there are basically 12 essential oil in the pack and different different flavors so not expensive as well so i'll leave the link for you if you guys want to try it out if you feel like an essential oil lover so guys i chose to use the i think it was a sweet orange one i tried the lavender first but i'm like no the lavender is not no 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 i didn't want that that's not the scent that i was going for so i tried the sweet orange and i chose to use that one instead so because the scent of the garlic was so strong i used about 25 drops in this 
you can add more or less guys it all depends on you but to be honest uh the sweet orange kind of calmed the scent down a little bit but the scent was still there so i should have used tea tree oil which is a more stronger oil or peppermint oil which is a more stronger scent oil but i didn't want to like add two different oils to it so after doing that i'm just going to mix it up and that's how it looks guys very very rich in color because of the hibiscus and the brahmi which i'm going to explain to you guys shortly i'm just going to add this into the bottle that i'm going to use and guys today i'm going to use it as a hot oil treatment for my wash day and if you some of you guys might know that i have some fox locks in so i figured that the best time to do a nice um hot oil treatment on your scalp is when you have like braids in so let's do this so guys i'm basically i like to add my water on top of the bottle i think it helps to keep the to let the bottle warm the oil more keep more warm if you understand what i'm saying so it's application time and it's time to talk about all these ingredients that i add in this mixture so guys the first ingredients that i use was hibiscus so hibiscus is known to be one of the most renowned herb used for hair growth it gains its popularity because of its ability to stimulate hair growth even from a dormant hair follicle in ball patches it's also said that it will help to encourage regrowth and premature grain okay let's talk about brahmi powder brahmi powder helps to reduce hair fall it helps to nourish the roots well and accelerate hair growth by thickening the roots brahmi powder also helps to keep the scalp cool and strengthen the hair follicles which will help to prevent dandruff it also possess exceptional hair moisturizing properties let's talk about grapeseed oil why i chose to use grapeseed oil over other oils is in particular with the substance that it contains this cup substance is called and i will have it on the screen for you but in shortening it's called opc so guys opc is said to be found in apples chocolate and wine so for sure if it's found in wine it's gonna find in the grapes so guys this particular substance is in grape seed oil 95% of the substance is in grape seed oil and what is so good about this substance is that it helps to block DHT and guys if you know what DHT is DHT is a hormone that cause hair loss and ball patches in alopecia um, patients etc so I chose to use it for that purpose garlic was was um optional so if you want to add it you can add it you don't have to so guys i'm going to wash my hair out as you see i'm trying to like get all the oil out of my hair so i'm adding a very moisturizing shampoo because guys i'm not washing my hair i'm washing my scalp my hair is in this box lock so i don't think my hair is like getting clean but my scalp is definitely going to get clean and i left this in for i left the, the hot oil in for 10 minutes before i head into the shower and start to wash my hair out i was in the shower for probably about 20 minutes i did about um four lather of shampoo because i want to get the scent out of my hair and yeah i try my best to like get that scent the garlic scent out of my hair so you guys if you don't want to use the garlic it's optional but if you want hair growth use it so you see my scalp is very very clean and i do have growth my hair is like three weeks since i've done it i did it when i was in jamaica so 
got some growth going and I use that conditioner on my scalp because the conditioner smell good and I want to get the scent out of it so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you guys in my next one